One of the first things you'll have to do before taking your new boat out on the river is lace the floor. It's a simple process, but a little technical. This video will help you get it right. Temporarily looping cam straps over the boat gives you a place to set the floor before it's laced. Decide where you'd like your valve. Partially inflate the floor, then place it valve side down on the cam straps. Look in your repair kit for the floor lacing ropes. Find the center of the first rope and tie a knot in it like this. We've found that melting the ends of the ropes makes it easier to lace the boat. Carefully use a torch to melt the rope, then use cardboard to roll the end into a needle. Do this to both ends of the rope. Soak the rope, but not the melted ends, in soapy water. Then repeat the process with the other rope. As your ropes are soaking, find the center of the boat. As you see here, there is a notch that is deeper than the rest. Most airboats have a single deep notch but the Super Puma and Super Duper Puma have two deep notches. Make sure to line them up before you lace the floor. Thread the rope through one of the loops closest to the notch. Alternate threading the rope through the loops in the collar and the loops on the floor. Pull the rope parallel to the loops so that you do not damage them. Pull the rope tight at regular intervals. Be especially careful not to miss loops as you lace the ends. Continue with the rope until you reach the deep notch on the opposite side of the boat. Untie the knot in the center of your rope and start lacing in the opposite direction. The flap you see here is a spray guard. Push it down as you lace this end of the boat.
After you've reached the deep notch lacing in this direction, check your lacing to make sure you haven't missed any loops and that the deep notches on the floor and the deep notches in the collar are still aligned. Tie the ropes together with 10 or more overhand knots. Cut the ropes after the knots. Use a lighter or torch to melt a few of the last knots and the ends of the rope together. Push the knots through the lacing so that they aren't exposed to wear from the river. Take the other rope and start lacing the boat, starting on a loop nearest the deep notch on the side with the knots. Thread the rope through the loops in both directions until you reach the deep notch on the other side. Tie, cut, and melt this rope as well. 